So you want to make a teleporter for your world, not a problem. This will only take us a couple minutes to get some basic examples of teleporters implemented into a world. There's essentially two main ways that we can do this, on use and on trigger. Now we've covered on use before in our other videos with buttons and with our avatar pedestal. Those are interactable on use examples, but we haven't covered on trigger events yet. Not to worry, it's not anything complicated and we'll go over it in this video. I have both of our scripts prepared for us, but I did not prepare any custom models for this video as I didn't really know what I would do. So let's get started. The two most common use cases for teleporters is to connect areas that are far away, but you don't want to be, and to separate audio. Now, when we cover sound and audio, we will show better ways to isolate things that are near each other from crossover. So let's say you're in a room and you don't want to hear people in the next door room. We can do that via sound, but most people opt to just spatially separate them with by teleporting someone somewhere else. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our floor and just set it like over here a decent distance away. And for our first teleporter object, we're just going to add a actual cube again. You can use whatever you'd like here. It doesn't really matter. Any object will do. So let's just get this on the ground. All right, now the first thing we're gonna do is just add an Udon behavior via the add component. Let's make sure we're in the C sharp program asset as these are what we'll be using for our teleporter scripts. Let's make a new program, create script, and we'll call this teleport, I said that weird, on interact. that we're inside our script we can go ahead and bring in our code I have prepared so again you can just copy this if you'd like clear our errors and we can see this actually came in just fine. Now, before we do anything else, we need somewhere to teleport to. So again, you can use whatever object you would like. We're just gonna use an empty game object here. And we're just gonna put it over here. Let's zero out the elevation and we're gonna child it to our teleporter. And we're gonna rename this so it doesn't get confusing. Teleport on interact. Teleport exit. Okay, so now we have a teleport on interact and an exit location. So now we need to actually assign the teleport target as our teleport exit. Now, one other thing we are going to do, and I'll make a whole video on this, probably the next video, honestly is adjust our world settings because I'm tired of running really slow. So we're gonna go into our VRC world. We're gonna scroll down until you see these jump, walk, run, and strafe speed. And while we could adjust them all, we are simply just going to adjust these. We're just, uh, I think we'll just, we'll triple the walk and double and triple the run. Sounds good. So we can actually move around our test world a little faster. Now we are good to test in play mode, and this is much nicer. Alright, so we see we have interactable, and we click it, we do teleport. Now, 
one issue is the well it's not an issue but something we probably want to be able to modify is the actual ending rotation where we end up looking so let's take a look at how to do that real quick let's go to our teleport exit and let's actually just rotate this to where we want it to be so we can see it's adjusting this y value here let's just adjust that 180 degrees which would turn it around and we'll try again Okay, so it was facing this way, and it faced this way. So we actually want to go probably 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees, or 270 instead of negative, but it's all doesn't really matter. So let's try 90. There we go. You can see now, as soon as we're teleport, we are facing back towards our teleporter which makes it easy to confirm that it's working again you can do whatever you would like to do for your use case here now that we have the teleport on interact successfully working as intended we can go ahead and exit play mode and work on our second example and for this one what we're going to do and why we create child objects and things like that is because we can simply duplicate the parent and it'll duplicate the child as well now we can move it out, kind of just next to it. And what we're going to need to do inside the box collider is check is trigger on the box collider. That'll make sure it works as intended. Now we need to go ahead and remove this udon component we added because we're not going to be doing an interact again and add another one. Hit new program, create script. Instead of teleport on interact, it's going to be teleport on trigger. Now we need to open our teleport on trigger script. Let me put in the prepared code. Go ahead and save it. And we're good to go back to our project. Now we need to reset our teleport target to the new child object. And let's rename this to teleport on trigger. Now we should be good to go ahead and test this one as well. So as we can see, there's no interact. That's not highlight, but if we touch it, we teleport. And by touch it, I mean, we physically collide with it. So you can see both of these examples are now working, which is very, very easy way to set up teleporters. Now, if we wanted to build on top of this, we could add things like particle effects, sound, and animations. We will be doing that, but not until we cover those basic systems first. We have yet to touch on any of those three, sound, animation, or particle effects. So we can build this out and make it more advanced, especially if we start using custom models. But for now, this is an easy way to set up teleporters in the two most used styles there is in just a couple minutes at that and that's it two simple ways to add teleportation to your vr chat world whether it's with a button press or a trigger zone now you've got a solid foundation to build on if this helped you out consider liking and subscribing it really helps the channel grow my youtube isn't monetized yet so if you want to support future videos, check out my Patreon. Every little bit helps me keep making these videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.